Hello, my name is Jada and I work with the Stuff You Can Use team and today we are thoroughly going to walk through Hubs. Now Hubs is a new communication tool and app for any groups within your ministry. Hubs is only $9.97 a month for non-grow users, but it does come free if you are a current subscriber. We also have a Hubs app, so everything that I'm going to show you today can be accessed on the Grow app by you, your parents, or your volunteers. We also have a Hubs app, so everything that I'm going to show you today can be accessed right here on your phone by you, your parents, or your volunteers, or whomever it is in your ministry. So I am so excited to show you all that Hubs has to offer. So right off the bat, here is our Hubs dashboard. It opens up to all of our current Hubs that we have created. Now, once you do sign up for Hubs, you have an unlimited amount of Hubs that you can create, and you have an unlimited amount of people that you can have in each of these Hubs. So that's super exciting if you have super large ministries, you don't have to worry about a capping of people. Now, let's go ahead and go into any one of these. And it takes us right here. Now we have access to a whole lot of things and it might seem a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry, we're gonna touch on everything today. So first of all, let's start with our Manage Hub users. This is this little button over here. We're gonna click into it. And this is how we're going to add people into our hubs. So first of all, you need to put their full name in or their first and last name so that you can identify each person in here. Then you're going to put their email that they'll want associated with this account. And then you get to choose if they can be a hub admin or if they want to be a hub user. With a hub admin, they simply have access to pretty much everything that you have access to. They can upload announcements, create calendar events, um, and add people. Hub users simply have access to whatever it, the content is that the hub admin has put into each of these hubs. So you have those two options and then you press send. Currently you have some of your pending invitations, you have some of your current members. Now this is very specific to the hub that I have open, which is our high school ministry. But you can choose, you can pick and choose which hub you want to add people to. <laughs> if I go back out of here, we can change up our banner. So right now I have this cool psychedelic little funky thing going on. You can change that if you like. So over here to the top right, we can press change banner and we'll have three options that we can choose from when we wanna select what our banner is. So the first being a gradient, we get to choose up to three colors and this is super helpful. If you have ministry colors, then you can choose this and then you can choose which direction the gradient goes in. It's really fun. Um, also, you can choose uh, to put an image up there if you'd like or you can choose from any of our templates that we have here and that's where i have the little psychedelic funky one and we have many for you to choose from and this simply allows you to identify each of your hubs now whichever one that you pick is you can only pick one of these you cannot have all three of them so you just pick one so we have two really big functions whenever it comes to hubs the first let's start off with our calendar our calendar is going to be over here on our right side and this is our little calendar with the dates and then if we were to have an event all the details would be underneath it so with each of these dates if we have a calendar item on it then it will have this little dot as you can see right here all the other dates don't have anything uh don't have any calendar items on it so it will be empty but let's click into one of these and i'll show you how all the details are listed out so you have your date your time uh when it ends you have the name of the event and you also have the description you can also add some links you can add pdfs you can add pictures whatever it is that you want to add into this you can simply add it and our grow content already comes preloaded so these are all of the preloaded documents that i have for i have questions week two they're already loaded up so i don't have to go out of my way to find links or download documents or anything it's simply right here and it's super cool it's easy for volunteers or anyone really who is in this hub they all have access of seeing these files so make sure that if it's just for the volunteers that you don't have any of your students in here <laughs> But for those of you who may not even use Grow Curriculum, you can simply go to Calendar Item and add in your own. So I'll show you what that looks like. So once I go to Add New under Calendar Item, 
I'll have two options to choose from. So that'll be our calendar item and our grow content item. And so with the preloaded content, that's where you're going to choose your grow content and you only have access to the curriculum that you're subscribed to. With calendar item, if you don't even use our grow curriculum, that's super fine. You can just go into calendar item and add in whatever it is that you want. Simple as that. Adding a calendar item is so easy. So like I said, we have these two options. I'm going to go in the calendar item. First off, we have our hub that we want to add this to, this event to. I am already on our high school ministry hub, so it's automatically going to default to this one. But as you can see, all my other hubs are available for me to select. So I can pick and choose which ones, or I can just select all of them, and it'll do it that way. I'll choose a date for my event and an end date. If I wanted to add a time, I can do it. We're just going to put a really random time, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, awesome. And then we can set this to be reoccurring if we like. So that means it'll happen on this day every week for however long we want it to last until. And then we have the title of the event. So let's just say bash. I don't even know. <laughs> Add a description. Let's, let's have some fun. And we can add emojis, we can bold the text, italicize it, underline it, strike through, whatever. And then we can also add links. So we can either double click in here to add a link or we can drag and drop. However you like to do it, it's super easy. You're going to notify your hub members and then you simply post it. And all of that random stuff was put into an event, a calendar item. As you can see, it shows it with a dot. Uh, not much in there because I didn't add any links or anything, but it shows the date, the time, the event name, the description, and the links would be right underneath it. So it's super easy. And the same thing with the grow content, except for it will actually align with your series that you're in for our grow curriculum. Now I did say we do have two pretty big functions. So that was the calendar one. Now we can look over at our announcements. Our announcements are located on the left side and it works exactly or kind of like Facebook um, and Slack even if you've used that. As soon as you upload an announcement, they can comment. People in your hubs can comment. They can add an emoji to react to things like that. You can just press the reaction, do the little emoji there. See, super cute. It just changed it. <laughs> I can only uh, react with one emoji, so I had already done it previously, so it just changed it. Um, I can add a comment and send that. Surprisingly, I can even add links in here, files, attachments, GIFs. That's super fun in ministry. <laughs> Be creative, be endless with your thoughts. Please add as much on here as you would like. I'll show you how you can add an announcement. So as we go back up to the top, we press add new. And then like we did before with our calendar item, we can make it an announcement item or we can make it a grow content item, which will align with your grow curriculum. So let's just go into the announcement item. Oh wait, actually, Let's go into our grow content. I want to show you what that looks like. So let's go into students because this is our high school hub. We'll choose V5 students or we can choose a free trial if you guys aren't subscribed yet. Break trail. Oh no, I already did break trail. Let's do something different. Let's go with good things. Let's start with week one and then next. And as you can see, it's already like made a little, a little message for us. So it has the hub that we wanted to go to right here, the name of the event or the announcement, and then our description, which is completely customizable. And then we have our links, which are already attached here. And then we can add more if we'd like. You'll want to notify your hub members if you want to hide your comments so that people can't comment, then you're going to want to toggle that. If you want people to comment, then don't toggle that. <laughs> and then if we want to schedule the announcement, we could. We just schedule a date for it to be uh, posted and you don't even have to worry about it. Like it'll, it'll do all the work for you. 
so you don't have to remember to do that i'm gonna turn that off and post it and here we are this is where it is it's where the magic happens uh i want to show you how you can react you can go to the top of it press one like i said you can only react once you can reply um send that Go back up to the top if you want to delete it you can if you want to edit it you also can and if you want to pin this one to the top because it's most relevant of all the announcements then you can you can pin it to the top and then if you don't want it pinned to the top anymore you would simply press it again and it will put it right back in place our messages you might use this the absolute most so our messages will be over here and this is where you can do your direct messages you can do group chats basically anything that you don't want everyone else seeing this is where you're going to have all of your messages located at so it's really easy all I have to do is press into one of them say hey Jeremiah <laughs> send that to him and is done now this is where the app might come in super handy because you're on the go sometimes you don't always have your whole computer web browser available to you we do know that we do have our phones constantly and always available to us so when you use the hubs app that's where you can easily message people back and forth on the fly and on the go it's basically ministry on the go <laughs> and yeah that is what hubs is all about we do have more tutorial videos on hubs that are more detailed about each section if you so desire to check that out please do and we hope this tool helps you communicate to the people in your ministry like never before all right i hope you all have a great one bye mm -hmm.